Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And today I have used the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette. I know it's old, guys, but I just got it yesterday because I don't know why I waited so long to get it. I just, I don't know. I guess because there was so many colors in it and it's just intimidating. But anyways, you guys, I'm living for this look. I love it. I hope you love it. If you want to see how I got this look and the products that I used, just keep watching. Okay, guys, first things first. I am going to be using the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. I picked this little sample up from Sephora. I don't use it often. I don't know why I just don't, but I know we normally start with the eyes, but today, because we're not gonna have a lot of fallout because we are using an amazing palette, um, we're gonna go ahead and prime the face, do foundation, and do our eyes. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that, and we're just going to rub this. This is the Radiance Primer, you guys. This feels so good. And it does give a little bit of glow too, I see. I've just been playing in makeup. <laughs> okay, now that the primer's done, I'm gonna be going in with my ride or die. My ride or die. Why is everything gonna be ride or die? Why is everything gonna be die? Anyway, it's gonna be the Professional Pore Primer. This is my benefit. You guys know that I love this. I just can't live without it. I can't. I literally just um, purchased this travel size one because there's no need for me to purchase the big one for $38. This is $12, but the other one that I have has literally, and you just literally use this much. So the other one that I have has literally lasted me over a year. Probably well over a year, to be honest with you. And that just refines the appearance of pores and it just makes them feel smooth and just ready for the foundation next I'm going to be going in with the Too Faced Born This Way oil free foundation and I'm in the shade warm beige I'm just gonna take a few pumps on the back of a clean hand I don't have a clean hand I get me a makeup removing wipe okay I'm just gonna be taking a few pumps of this on the back of my hand. We're gonna start out with two and see if that's enough. I'm taking the Morphe sponge, of course, it's a given. And we're just going to, where's my mirror? We're just, my skin's looking really good, you guys, except for this thing. I don't even know, like, it just happened last night at work. I'm just gonna begin to dab that into the skin. I haven't used this foundation in over a year because I've been too dark because I'm obsessed with tanning like in the summer. So I've literally bought it and probably wore it once or twice and that's it. Next I'm gonna be going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer because this is full coverage and I love the finish of it. I'm just gonna take it on the back of the sponge like this. And now I'm just gonna blend that all out. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Revelation. Revelation, Jesus, I'm, I'm not preaching right now. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution. <laughs> Pro HD powder and I'm going to take this banana shade right here. And underneath the eyes. I'm going to take the same palette and I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And I'm just going to You know, contour. I 
Those things need to go. It don't matter. She's still cute. <laughs> Taking some banana shade in the same palette and just cleaning up that contour line. Now I'm going to take the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deep. Just a bronze. I'm taking the Morphe R39 brush and I'm going to pick up some of this shade right here. And we're going to snatch the nose. <laughs> That's entirely too much. so easy to mess up a nose contour if you're not careful. <laughs> Just like this. She got a heavy hand. I'm gonna take me, hmm, how am I gonna fix it? Take another fluffy brush. Get some of the banana shade. It still looks muddy, guys, don't it? Okay, I'm gonna move on to the brow. And today I'll be using the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. I picked this up last night. Mm, I believe from Walgreens, yeah. When I was on my lunch break at work, I just couldn't stand it. I had to go get something. It, it's really, really, really tiny, if you can see. It reminds me of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I really like this. I like how it gives you more of like the feathery look. That looks nice. It just broke off. Look at that. Why does stuff always, always happen to me when I fail? Why? Okay, guys. This was, this is everything. This is why I'm so excited to film today. You guys, this isn't new, but to me it's new, and this is probably the best purchase that I've ever made and I'm gonna be going in and you already know from the title 
with the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette. And I know it's not new, but it's new to me. You know, I'm slow. Like, I'm gonna be honest, let me give you a little bit of why I'm so satisfied and why I'm so like excited to use this. Because I've never been the one to play with colors. Like this just scares, scares me. Like these warms, browns, all that. Yeah, that's cool. But none of this. So I was just like, mm, no. You know, when it came out, it was beautiful. But I was like, you know, I'll never use it because I don't know how to do, you know, creative looks and everything. So here lately, you know, I've just had a little, a little, I don't know, a little spice going on, you know, in my life. Not like that, you guys. But, you know, like I've just had a little bit of inspiration and I'm just like, you know what? I'm doing it. Like, I'm just gonna go for things and I'm going for it and I went for it. So, I don't know, I just, I, I, don't, I don't even know what I was doing. I was just like, I think I seen a look that I was kind of inspired by, but I was like, you know, I'll do it later or whatever. So, anyways, I think that's what prompted me to go to Ulta and get, <laughs> and get this. Guys, it's so pretty. I know, we, I know everybody's hasn't seen it, but anyways, I'm just gonna hurry up Go on in with the eyes. I'm going to be taking the Morphe M441, of course. And I just cleaned all my brushes and my sponges. I'm going to be taking the M441. Let me see how you read this bad boy in light beam. So, this is in light. Yeah. Little lady. Little lady. This is so exciting. Creamsicle butter. Hillster. I love all these. Like, I just... She's, she's beautiful and she's amazing and I'm excited. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to, interesting, my camera just cut off. Why did I do that? I got a full battery. Why did it just cut off in the middle of me filming? I'm gonna take creamsicle and butter, which is these two shades right here, creamsicle and butter. And I'm gonna mix those and I'm gonna put it um, use it as a transition. Yeah, that's more. That's better. That's what I wanted. And now I'm just going to go back in with butter. I'm not going to pick up creamsicle, just butter. Now I'm going to go in with... <laughs> This shade right here, this is Pooter. <laughs> you guys have to listen to her story on why she named them, what she named them, it's funny. And I'm just gonna put that a little bit below where we put um, butter. Just like that. Actually, I'm gonna take the um, Morphe R39 brush and pick up Pooter. And I'm still just keeping it low and just blending it back and forth. Oh, this is a pretty shade, Jacqueline. Wow. Oh, what are you wearing? Pooter? <laughs> really, though? I was still boggled. Like, why did my camera cut off? Okay, we got Pooter all right there. Now, we're gonna take it a step further. We're gonna take it a step further. We are going to take the shade. These are so confusing. Central Park. And on the same R39 brush, just a little bit though. And right here. I'm just gonna deepen that crease, guys. I think I'm gonna go back up into creamsicle 
on Dave Morphy M441. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this crease really quickly. I'm gonna take some of the Makeup Revolution London Concealer and that's what I'm gonna use to cut my crease. I'm gonna be taking on a Morphe 421 brush.
Okay guys, this is the finished look. look. I am so excited and I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys don't have the Jaclyn Hill palette, go get it. Like, I don't even know what I waited on so long to get it. I didn't think that I would be able to create looks with it because I've just never been very artistic. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was so much fun and I'm living, I mean, I love this look. I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm so excited to make more videos for you guys and just to play with makeup because that's what I do in my spare time. I have no life. <laughs> but um, yeah, so if you like this video, remember to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And until next time, stay beautiful.